If coaching is a growing industry, why is it that coaches seem to struggle growing their wealth? This innocent question has led me to research more than anything else to identify the reasons why coaches don't succeed in achieving their goals to become wealthy and to become successful. I found the answer when I was working with a client who seemed to be really good at what they did. They coached really well and their clients got results, yet they struggled to make money. I was baffled, I was concerned, and I was curious. You see, this coach, like you, did everything right. They did the coaching courses, they did the marketing programs, they were learning. They were doing what we say we should be doing. Do you feel like you're in the same spot? Like you're doing all the work, but it just isn't working, it just seemed to be going nowhere? Here is what I found. Imagine you are a chef at heart. You understand foods, you understand flavors, you understand how to bring it all together. Now you're about to make a great meal. You have all the reference material at your disposal. But as you walk into the kitchen, you realize that there are no knives, there are no spoons, there are no pans, nothing that can help you make a seven course meal. All you have is your hands and a handful of ingredients. How hard would it be for you to make a meal? It would be hard and you might have to use all your creativity to create something that still may be subpar. That is where you are right now. You have the best ingredients to being a coach. You have the talent, you have the skill, but what you're missing are the tools to be able to build your practice. And these tools that I talk about are the approach that you have towards coaching, your approach towards money. Such as this client of mine, you are most likely in a spot where your coaching practice is designed to keep you in an endless debt cycle. You're approaching the wrong individuals to coach. You're approaching them with the packages that don't scale and you're approaching them with a mindset that doesn't allow you to enroll. The way you think about money, pricing and packages are the reasons why your coaching business is not working. But these are not hard things to change as long as you're willing and you have the right guidance to reframe these mindsets. At Evercoach, our intention is to help you be more, become more, and have access to the tools you need to make the switch, which is why I created an online training to help you reframe these mindsets and make your coaching business work. I invite you to start your journey now by attending this class.